Hey everyone, Sophia here for my great challenge. Welcome back to my channel and another episode in my Declutter With Me 2023 edition. I am still in the basement. I'm actually filming back-to-back -back videos today. I just did the bookcase, the little bookcase. Um, I hope you watched this video. If you are just catching on now, uh, you may want to go look at it. I decluttered quite a lot of books and for me it's a major major achievement because books have always been my most difficult declutter. Um, it's, well, pictures too, but books, um, I can't believe. I'm looking at it because I'm still in the basement. I've just finished that. And I can't believe how many books I'm able to let go of. So this is what I want to do today. I have another bookcase in the basement that has a mix of books that are mine and books that are Scott's. And now I have a bookcase with two empty shelves that are pretty long. So what I want to do is declutter enough of the bookcase that's on the other side so that the books that we are keeping only take the two shelves that I've emptied out. That would allow me to remove the bookcase entirely. Get rid of it because in that corner what I want to do is have another curio cabinet. Hopefully one that is floor to bottom so that I can put the stuff that's in the entertainment center upstairs in anticipation of my letting go of the full entertainment center and take it out of the living room once and for all. That's my big goal, or one of my big goal rather, for 2023. It's not gonna happen right away um, because I'm looking at alternatives and things that I could have instead. I'm looking at different things. I'm looking at TV consoles, dark cabinets, high one, low ones, break fronts. I'm looking at sofas, um, L shape, regular shape, um, two chaise, one chaise, corners, rounded, um, Chesterfield, all sorts of sofas. So it's gonna take me a while to make a decision exactly as to what I wanna do in the living room. It's not gonna happen again, anytime soon, probably not even by the end of the year. But I need to start making space so that I can at least let go of parts of the entertainment center. Again, this is how I work. I work in increments. I work in baby steps. I work in different um, stages. I don't go gung-ho and completely overall something anymore. This is what I used to do. Um, I, that's a decision that I've made when I started my bedroom upstairs on the third floor that I was going to take my time and make good decisions, decisions I would not regret. And so far it's worked pretty good because the bedroom upstairs is fabulous <laughs> and we still love it. Um, so I'm going to do the same thing with the living room. I'm going to take my time and if I have to take, you know, one piece at a time, I'll do that. Um, I'm in no rush. I don't plan on moving. So that's the goal. Make space for a potential um, curio cabinet. I don't have much room. We'll talk about it in a second uh, in that corner, but I think it would look really good. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to show you the bookcase. Uh, the one I emptied first, um, the one I'm going to work on, what I plan on doing, and start decluttering. So again, we are in the basement and this is the bookcase I just finished and I managed to pretty much remove, what is that, about 65%, something like that, of the books that were in here and the only ones that are mine are from here all the way up to here. These are my books that I've kept, um, at least for the basement because there's some I'm taking upstairs and all of these here are Scott's books. So I now have two empty shelves. And on the other side of the basement, uh, I have this bookcase. And you know, they are nothing like the IKEA 
bookcases that are in Edward's room. Those are super sturdy. These have been sagging for quite some time. I think I got it either at Kmart when it was still open or Walmart. And they are just not panning out. They, they're really bad. So what I'm going to do today is try to declutter uh, as much as possible from this particular bookcase with the goal of getting rid of it altogether. And this is, let me move back a little bit. This is the area where I was thinking about putting um, a curio for the uranium glass and other items that we have uh, in the house that are hidden because I don't have enough uh, space to display them. So that would be really the perfect spot for it. Um, what I'm going to do first is pull out the Bookstar Scots because I do not declutter his stuff. And this is something that I mentioned in the other video, um, the one that was right before this. I really don't want to declutter Scott's things. I don't think it's appropriate for any of us to declutter other people's things. You don't know why they keep them. You don't know what the story is behind uh, certain things. Like, I know I have books that I've kept, the 10 from my school that I kept, because either I took the class from um, the professor who was the author of the book, or those books had um, specific significance in my life. I don't know what books in this bookcase that are his are actually books that have this type of significance. And it's the same thing for any other item, clothes, for instance. Um, you know, you don't want to be in a position where you go through your husband's clothes and you see an old busted shirt that he never, never, never wears. And you may not even know where he got it in the first place and you throw it away. And turns out that's his grandpa's shirt. You know what I mean? Well, you would know. <laughs> I'm giving you the wrong example, but I think you get the gist of it. Like, do not declutter other people's stuff. And matter of fact, I'm not decluttering the kids' stuff. I'm going to declutter with them. Um, at the end of March, Willie's room is going to be entirely made over. I'm doing the same thing with William than I did with Edward when he goes to Disney World. Willie's going to go to Disney World with his band at the end of March, and while he's gone, I'm entirely redoing his room. It's going to be a little bit more extensive because I need to paint it, <laughs> the colors that he picked, and we got new furniture and everything. But before I even get started with that, we need to declutter. So I'm going to declutter with him, and Edward wants me to help him declutter as well. So for your kids, declutter with them. Help them learn to make decisions, what they want to keep, what they don't want to keep. I tend to put a break a little bit um, on the kids because sometimes they want to declutter stuff that I am emotionally attached to. Like, you know, the baby books, things like that. And you're going to say, well, why keep them in their room and not put them in your room since you want to keep them? Well, that's a whole other story. Um, Maybe I need yet another bookcase for that. Um, but you get the idea, right? You, you don't want to declutter other people's stuff. So I'm going to go in there and I'm going to pull out what Scott's and it's going to go straight into that bookcase. Whatever is left is technically my stuff and I have to make a decision about it. These I have to put um, with the cartoons and the comic books on the other side. Um, so these are all of Scott's books. <laughs> it's leaving me just this here. I better make good decisions because I really, if I want to let go of that bookshelves, I really need to make some um, drastic decisions. I still have the office uh, space that I can use for uh, other books, but I'm letting go of quite a lot. I can still squeeze one right here. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, that's a lot of books. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. Stay tuned for more. Hey, I'm sorry about the light. There's really nothing I can do <laughs> about it. I'm right underneath one of the ceiling lights. So 
this is it. This is what I got left. These are my books. It's quite frankly not a lot, but I have to figure out a way to make them even less because they have to fit in that bookcase. I said I was going to get rid of this bookcase. So let's go through them. Uh, I can tell you all the way on top here, more than likely this is going. Well, actually, uh, maybe not. You remember I had like a whole collection of Fix It Yourself by Time Magazine, Time Life. And then I let go of it, but Scott did pick up uh, the basic car care and the home heating and cooling and the basic wiring. He kept those. Do I really need to keep them here? No, they could go somewhere else. So I'm going to put them on the side. I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do with it. Okay, the household encyclopedia from Good Housekeeping. It's all online. I don't need to keep it. That's donate. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, the call of the mall. Absolutely keeping this. Um, Paco under here. Read it. Fast Food Nation. Oh. Whoa. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, so this is keep. Okay. We got Bill Bryson, lots of it. We got The Lost Continent. We have At Home. And I think that's it. I'm a stranger here myself. Okay. I don't know. Fat Land. The American became how the Americans became the fattest people in the world. I mean, our paradox of choice, definitely keeping that. My life as an experiment, that's Scott's. It's gonna buy. Can't buy my love, that's Scott's. Americans at work have got, mm, I don't need to keep that, so that's the Nate. Uh, free economics, that's Scott's. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have no room. Uh, which one is this? Fast Food Nation. Okay. All right, let me put those on this shelf. Um, it's not a lot of space, guys. I can keep maybe four or five books in there. Uh, well, definitely Call of the Mall. And the paradox of choice. And then I don't even think. I have to revisit this, so let me put that on the shelf. Okay, so this I gotta revisit. Pictures that can stay here. These are all books in French. Napoleon, more Napoleon. Uh, Symphonie Pastoral, Jean Paul Sartre, Centuries, and look at her old this is um this is um death of a uh, salesman in french 1991 definitely keep it i brought it from france this one it traveled with me in 92 when i came here so <laughs> clearly we're gonna keep it okay so we're keeping that any other french books okay uh napoleon ceo a book about um, that's in French about French history a short history of France this is really good a culture shock uh, old French book about French history keeping that culture shock it's probably old Scott might want to keep it okay so definitely can put them over there there's no room but I can put them in the office because now I have all the French books together. Let's go at the bottom. It's really tough, you know, when you actually um, 
limit <laughs> your space. Okay, the old DSM. Listen, we're on 5TR now. This is 4. This is the one I studied. Uh, this thing is being mangled. I, it's not It's not that it's not relevant anymore. I mean, they've made a lot of changes, but I literally have two copies now of the 5TR. I, no, I have a copy of the 5 and I have a copy of the 5TR, so I don't need this. Um, I don't need to keep my old DSM. Plus, it's all online, so that can go. Okay. Aristotle. That's going to go in Edward's room. Descartes, Spinoza, Leibniz. That's going to go in Edward's room. Oh, this is a book we bought in Washington, D.C. years ago. The 267 stupid, stupidest things Republican ever said. And then you flip it, and it's the 267 stupidest things Democrats ever said. Because you need balance. That can go. Okay. We now have Alexander Hamilton. Churchill. Lincoln. And Teddy Roosevelt. I'm going to put them in the office. Budget book. blank. <laughs> I'll donate it. And then, so that's donate. That's donate. That's unfortunately trash. I'm going to bring those to the office. I'm going to bring all the French ones in the office. What's this right here? A girl's guide to being a boss. With that being a B.I. You know what I mean. Okay, that's the Nate. That leaves me with the Fast Food Nation and the Bill Bryson. Let's see if I can fit them in the other bookcase. Okay, you guys, you gotta fit. <laughs> you gotta fit. Okay, so here are those two. And this is the Bill Bryson. I'm trying to see if there's something else that's not mine. You know what? This is cartoon stuff. That can go over there with the um, other cartoon stuff. you're not fitting. I made it. <laughs> I still have stuff to bring upstairs but I made it. Okay. Ah, it's so hard to film in the basement because of the lighting. These um, that are related to repairs and stuff, why don't I put them in the uh, border room where I keep all my tools. That makes sense, right? Okay, so I put them right there on the shelf. Um, Americans at work. I said that was donate. I have to bring these upstairs uh, with the three president uh, books and Winston Churchill. Then I'm going to make a decision about this. Can we talk about this? Because I remember specifically last time I did a declutter in the basement. I was agonizing over it. And I think we're going to go through the same thing again. Okay. That's an easy answer. This is a fantastic 
and I mean fantastic. Made in Italy, um, doable. Um, it's got some damage. It's all chipped. Um, as much as I love it, I can probably let go of it. <laughs> now, I mean, come on, it's got chips. The glaze is chipping and stuff. There's, there's no reason for me to keep this. I have enough balls upstairs. It was very nice to have it, but that can go. So I'm letting go of this. Okay, now this. Oh. Regal porcelain. Can't remember the name of it. Okay, so uh, it's it's uh, it's a chamber, you know, crock, but it's so damaged. All right, it's got a major hairline crack here. Actually, I think it broke and they fixed it. So it's broken here and it was glued. It was broken here and it was glued. Um, it's hand painted. It's not. Yeah, it's it's so compromised, but it's so cool. <laughs> it's so cool. Um, okay, I tell you what. I'd love to, hello, I'd love to have one, but if I was to have one, I would not want to have one that has been broken and repaired. I would want one that's in good condition. I don't mind a tiny chip, but this thing's been repaired. <laughs> it's like the whole piece right here that's missing. So. I'm going to let it go. I love the shape. The design is okay. It's not my favorite. I really love the shape. I love the fact that it's old, uh, but it's really broken. I would rather have one if and when I find it um, that is not in such a poor condition. So. And just like that, the era of the 1890s or 1880s. <laughs> um, basin, crock, whatever you call it. Uh, ants. Are you surprised? You should be. <laughs> you should be surprised. Okay, I'm letting go of this. I'm letting go of over half of the books that were in the basement and I'm letting go of the bookcase. So I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I need to put my camera battery on the charger. I'm gonna do that and while it charges, I'll let the, uh, I'll take the um, bookcase out of here uh, and I'll take those books start going into the office, to the office and yeah. Wow, this was a, pretty productive decluttering session y'all. I did really well. I can't believe I'm letting go of this. Am I going to regret it? I don't think I will. Again, I can find another one um, and it's really damaged. I mean it was all glued back together. You had a great history but it ends here dude. I'm sorry. Yeah, Ugh. it's got a perfect handle. You know, if I display it one way, you really don't see it's broken. On this side, it's not broken. It's only broken on this side. So don't look at it from the right side or from the front. Only look at it from here. Ah, come on, I gotta let it go. <laughs> I did it. 
I'm gonna put the camera on the charger. I'll be right back. So I don't think you can see it in this light, but there's like some um, weird scuffs uh, with a weird color on the wall. And I just happen to have some leftover. Gentle Rain Gray by Bear. So, just gonna cover it. I did it! I did it! Um, over half of the books are gone. <laughs> and I'm um, looking at the corner, it looks pretty good. Um, I have to measure it and see how wide it is um, for a curio. I may have to change the configuration of things. Maybe I'll put the bookcase over there and a curio here instead. I don't know yet. I gotta think about it. And boy, do I look pink! <laughs> um, the problem is that I have different types of light bulbs. <laughs> so the camera, I can't figure out if I'm on uh, uh, LED <laughs> or if I'm on tungsten. And since it's both, uh, because you can see like the difference, you know, in colors with the gray. But anyway, I'm pretty darn proud of myself today. I really, between this bookcase and that bookcase, um, I really, really kicked it up a notch in the decluttering process here. Absolutely no regrets. I feel very good about this. I already put the books um, that I said I was gonna put in the office. Oh, I'm sorry about the furnace. Uh, I put them on the top shelf and um, that's behind me where the boxes are. You know why I had like the frames and stuff and those I put in the closet instead on the top shelf. So that makes more sense. It's prettier that way and they all fit. And I just have the books that I need to bring upstairs between my room and Edward's room and everything else. It's raining right now, so I'm not gonna put anything out in the little library. Cause you know, I gotta stand in front of it and you know, shift things around. And then the other ones I just donate, I'm just gonna grab a box and at some points this week, I'll just um, donate them, except the one where I have excessive writing and stuff in it. Um, those unfortunately, I hate to throw away a book, but I can't donate that, um, but that's about it. So give me a thumbs up if you are impressed <laughs> and don't forget to share the video if you want to impress somebody else and motivate them to declutter. Um, it feels right to do this at this point. Again, I am doing it in anticipation of a major change in the living room, sometimes between now and March 2024. <laughs> I like to take my time again because I need to find the right curio, I need to find the right console, I need to find the right sofa. It's just got to be right. If I'm going to be spending money buying actual furniture, the curio I'm probably going to get on the Facebook marketplace, but if I'm going to buy actual furniture from a store with my hard earned dollars, <laughs> As opposed to me finding stuff on the street, it's got to be right because I'm going to be stuck with it. It's not like I'm going to be, ah, I don't like it anymore, back on the curb. It's got to be the right fit, the right size, the right color, everything. So I am taking my time browsing the internet. 
educating myself on different styles and what would fit best for our lifestyle and that would be it so again thumbs up if you liked it share if you really really liked it subscribe right here in the corner click that bell button so that you get a notification every time I post a new video and you don't miss anything and then find me on Facebook and Instagram at my great challenge also the FC shops Frenchie and Tubby for vintage finds and my great challenge gift for channel merch to support this channel the links are down below and if you really really want to support this channel and the patreon for exclusive content and a more intimate look into my personal life and family life you can choose to support me on patreon at patreon.com slash challenge thank you for watching you all have a great weekend bye <laughs>